everyone, it's Scott here from Older and Wiser. Um, today we've got a short little video for you today. Wanted to highlight some of the great things about being in, in a community, um, especially a smaller community where people really tend to, to congregate together and, and, and pull together for people. Um, in this case, we've got our local fire department that decided to come around and visit a lot of the different neighborhoods in the area um, to, they did two reasons. So one, they're doing what they call Friday Night Lights. So every Friday night in the summer, they're gonna come to these different neighborhoods, light up the lights, sound the horns, drive around from house to house to house, um, and really just kind of give people that have been sequestered, that have been you know itching to get out there, um, just give them some, some hope, some brightness, and just to say hi just to remind people that, hey, they're still out here um, and they're here for our community, which is great. The other thing the local fire departments, police departments, and other people in the community are doing um, is trying to make this year special for our graduating seniors, our high school seniors. Class of 2020 is definitely going to be unique in, uh, in the memories that they have. So, they came around today. We have a, a graduating high school senior this year. Um, they came around today and he got to have his picture taken with the fire department. Um, they kept safe distances and all that. And uh, it was just a really special thing. They went around to every single senior's house in the entire district and did this. How fantastic is that? They're also coming around for birthday parties. So kids that are having birthdays or not even kids, just people that are having birthdays that can't get out and celebrate with their friends and family like they're used to, they're putting on little parades in the community. It's amazing. So you see stuff like this all over our community and I'm sure communities like yours as well. It's fantastic. So let's make sure we take the time to appreciate the, the time and effort that people are going into to help out everybody. And if we can play a part in that, we should do so as well. So we're going to share a little bit of that with you today. Um, sit back and check it out. And remember, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please go ahead and do that. Click the bell icon and you'll get notifications when we upload videos like this one. Uh, so stay tuned and check it out. But first, we're going to take a quick minute, talk to our 2020 grad. Tell me about um, how does this year, we know that there's a lot of changes, but how does this year, um, how does it affect you that you don't get to get the traditional graduation ceremonies and celebrations? Well, it's definitely kind of sad because I've heard a lot of cool stories about graduation and I've actually, I've been to at least one or two. And I mean, it looks kind of boring, admittedly, but it's just the whole idea of the ceremony, I think. Uh, it's kind of sad that we won't be getting that, but they've been, they've been coming up with some really neat things and alternatives uh, that makes us still feel very, very, very special occasion still. Yeah, the fire trucks and the Yes. Things. <laughs> Did you notice the big billboard out there on the highway? Uh, no, I didn't actually. I haven't been out of the house in a while. So, as you wrap up your senior year, how do you feel about the future? Um, right now a little bit anxious about the future for sure, but I'm pretty sure everybody else is feeling the same way. Yeah. Uh, but still very excited about the future. This is uh, quite an interesting send-off, so I'm excited to see what else is going to happen after this. Mm -hmm. 